let's talk a little bit about dietary fiber and making sure that we're all getting enough dietary fiber with our intake of food every day. Um, so again, the starting to look at the backs of packages and thinking about like how, ma how many grams of fiber are you getting in a day is really helpful because if you don't know where you're starting, it's kind of hard to, you know, really track and figure out how to change it, right? Um, so fiber, high fiber foods, think of it like this. If your food takes a, a lot to chew, like you have to do a lot of chews of it, it probably has high fiber. So one of the most high fiber vegetables that's in existence are, are, are artichokes, right? So think about if you're eating an artichoke, how much you have to like really chew it, um, right? And so uh, that's just something to think about. And then of course, other heartier vegetables think, you know, Brussels sprouts and broccoli and, you know, things that you really have to chew a lot um, have more dietary fiber in them. Um, and then there's other things like the seed family, you know, like chia seeds and flax seeds and whatnot. Again, if you have to, you know, chew it a lot, it is likely going to have a higher fiber intake. Um, so, you know, fiber does so many great things for us. It helps maintain our good gut microbiome, our good gut bacteria need it, um, you know, to grow and flourish. And so, and I mean, as we know about 80% of the immune systems located in the gut. So this, this becomes a really important one. Um, and then of course, you know, fiber intake is also good to help treat GI symptoms such as, you know, constipation and diarrhea it just depends on who you are. Um, and, but you know, that can help regulate your bowel movements. Um, fiber also, you know, can help lower, you know, cholesterol for people that have, you know, high cholesterol and, and a history of heart disease themselves, lowering, um, lowering it can be good and fiber intake can help with that. So, you know, making sure you're getting enough dietary fiber is super important. What is enough? Um, and it, the, there's a big range, uh, just depends on what research studies you're looking at, but um, generally speaking, it's somewhere between 30 to 50 grams, you know, of fiber a day that's on the high side, um, right? But so I always tell my patients, if we can, you know, aim for 30 to 35 grams of fiber as a good starting place, that is going to be super, super helpful.